FIFA 17, it's finally here, and every single person, dog, and his nan wants some coins. Well, make sure to head over to goldad.com right now and use Gone for checkout for the cheapest coins on the market. Yo! What's going on, lads? Today we're back with another squad builder. Today, my friends, we're gonna be taking a look at some of the craziest, some of the wildest, some of the funniest pitch invasions you have ever seen. We're talking one dude invading the pitch on a wheelchair. I'm not even, no, I'm not even bullshitting. We're talking naked women, we're talking naked dudes, there's all sorts. Now as usual I want to thank this guy for suggesting me the team, it was a very good suggestion. And it's these sort of suggestions that we're going to be doing all year long. Funny squad builders, crazy squad builders, do you know what? Let's go! That is off in go, we have got a dude called Esteban Alvarado. Now that name just screams crime, screams drug dealer, Esteban, cocaine Esteban. Now it's not only his name that sounds crazy, this guy is legit crazy. Have you ever seen someone beat up a pitch invader? This guy runs onto the pitch, he runs up to Alvarado, kicks him, Alvarado's like, nah! Then he starts booting him on the floor, it's yo chill, the dude's on the floor, yo. Holy shit, that's some kind of McGregor shit. Then he goes to bang one of the stewards. This guy has lost the plot. Yo, he got himself sent off, which a lot of people said that was very harsh. But the guy literally started booting him on the floor. I mean, show some chill. What an absolute lunatic. Next up, we're going with the dude called David Wheeler. He is 100% nothing to do with the squad builder. But his second name has wheel in it. And the dude invades the pitch on a wheelchair. Now if this isn't the most bizarre pitch invasion you have ever seen in your whole entire life, I have no idea what is. The dude has one hand in the air, one hand on the throttle, and mate, he's just ripping it up. He's actually ripping it up and one guy runs up to him and gives him a high five. What an absolute G. The guy just pitch invaded on a wheelchair. I can't be asked. Next up in the defence, we're going with Mr. John Terry. Now, he was Chelsea's captain at the time, and he didn't step up and do anything to this pitch invader. Now, John Terry's meant to be a racist. He's meant to shag people's wives. He's actually meant to be a bit of a nutter. His family are meant to be crazy. Why didn't John Terry step up and do something to the pitch invader? This dude is literally on the pitch for over five minutes. He's running around, he's throwing wanker signs at everybody. He's saying, suck you, he's doing wrestling. It looks like he's doing a wrestling move there. I don't know what he's up to, but nobody takes it. Well, where's John? Look, John Terry kind of walks towards him and does nothing. So, like, somebody take this guy off the pitch. He's running around, he's throwing more wanker signs at people. He's literally mocking the whole stadium, and nobody is doing anything to take him off. The stewards are just stood there. He stays on the pitch, he stays on the pitch, then he does a runner. And no one can stop this guy. He's you, said Ball. He's the one. One steward's gone. Oh my god, two stewards gone. Oh wow, he's made it all the way and he slides towards the goal. What an absolute legend. How the hell he made and stayed on the pitch for that long, I will never know. But that guy goes down in history. From John Terry, we go to Ben Foster. Because this was back when Man United played Barnsley. I don't know what went on here, but two fans managed to get on the pitch and actually score. Now Ben Foster goes to take a goal kick as you can see the guy comes behind him, slips and he actually traps it to his mate and he puts it in the back of the net! When you're 2-0 down against Man United someone's got to step up and score even if it is a pitch invader. What an absolute screamer! He caught it on the volley and Ben Foster, well, he's just been embarrassed. And they actually managed to get back into the crowd. So, they'll take it! We move up to the midfield and Adrian is going to be in net have to do what he has to do. When we're talking about goalkeepers getting done by pitch invaders, Adrian is not going on that list. I promise you, this guy ain't taking no shit from no one. Watch this for a save. West Ham versus Newcastle, the pitch invader runs on. Oh, he hits the top corner. What a save by Adrian. That was going top bins. He's doing a runner, he's doing a runner, and eventually he gets caught. But fair play to Adrian for stepping up and doing his duty. That pitch invader. Someone needs to sign him up, because for a left foot, that was going top bins. But this is what I mean, man, some pitch invasions are this funny. He didn't cause any harm. In fact, he nearly scored. And of course, Balotelli. 
Balotelli. This guy, one of the funniest footballers to grace a football pitch. If he wasn't a footballer, he'd probably be the guy invading the pitch himself. These two fans ran onto the pitch, ran up to Balotelli, gave him a hug, and also got a selfie with him. And he posed for the selfie. Wow. What a guy. That is the sort of lad that Balotelli is. This is why we all love him. He actually posed for the selfie. And there's a picture that went around online that actually went viral. But this is why we all love Balotelli. And this is why some pitch invasions are actually quite funny. They didn't do any harm. They went on the pitch for long. And they got one of the greatest selfies of all time. We then move over to Joe Hart for his absolute heroic, legendary. This is just, you got to give this guy so much respect for what he did. Man United versus Man City. One of the biggest derbies possibly in world football. What happened next, what you're about to witness, is just madness. Man United have just scored in the last minute to beat Man City. A coin, first off, is hit Rio Ferdinand straight in the face. Now that's bad enough. Look what happens next. This is just unbelievable. This is actually unbelievable. A fan come running on the pitch, a Man City fan, look at the size of him, that guy would have got knocked out in a second and tries to run towards Rio Ferdinand and Joe Hart comes in and tells the guy to fuck off, he actually defends Rio Ferdinand from getting hit from behind. That for me is one of the most respectful, greatest moments in football. The fact that your team has just lost 1-0 in the last minute and you're still prepared to protect the opposition. The sportsmanship there is just through the roof. Next up we got Lionel Messi. Now this guy is an absolute living legend. One of the best footballers to ever grace a football pitch. Now he could be stuck up, he could be arrogant, he could be a prick. And he could get away with it because he's messy. But he chooses not to do that. If a pitch invader come running at me, I'm not sure how I'd react. This is during an international match in Hong Kong. A Hong Kong fan actually sprints onto the pitch. He runs up to Messi. And look what he does. He actually signs his shirt for him! Wow! I don't even know how much that shirt would have gone on to sell for. The fact that it's the original top that Messi signed from a pitch invader running on the pitch? I mean, what? That is just unbelievable. That's incredible. But if I could get a Messi signature from running on the pitch, I probably would do the same thing. And now we move up to the attackers, and Luis Suarez is going to start us off with one of the funniest I have ever seen. This is just hilarious. This guy, he's just straight up one fat bastard. That's the best way to describe him. This pitch invader runs onto the pitch, hugs Suarez. Like, I don't even know what kind of, he looks like he's trying to eat him. Mate, that, he's not dinner. That's not a burger, leave him alone. Then he starts going down for a blowjob, or is he actually bowing down to him? And then he starts firing wanker signs at the opposition. I mean, what the hell? And the fact that he thought he could just go back into the crowd. Like, what? come on, mate. You, are, you, are you stupid? They're not going to let you just wander back into the crowd after you've just ran onto the pitch. But he puts his hand up, the fans are cheering, and he actually gets ushered off. But what? what? I don't even know what to describe that. An idiot. And then he gets his ass out. Somebody get this guy off camera. And then over to the other side, we've got a more hard touching pitch invasion. You get the dickheads, you get the fat bastards, you get the people who try and attack the other players. And then you just get the cute ones who come on and they just, they just want to hug. They just want you to tell them everything's going to be okay. And that's what this guy did. This fan actually runs onto the pitch, hugs Ronaldo, and I'm not sure what he says to him. But it seems to touch Ronaldo's heart as well because Ronaldo actually makes sure that this guy doesn't get kicked out of the stadium. They act, look how much, look at this. This is actually the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. The fact that he just, you know, just takes him off. He's like, police, there's no need to arrest this guy. Leave him, leave him be. That is gotta be one of the nicest, most respectful things I have ever seen a footballer do. Ronaldo and Messi, the two of them, best players in the world, Look how just respectful they are. They don't try and beat people up. They just simply go over and give them a hug. And then finally to complete the team, we have got Mr. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. And funny enough, as you've seen so far, it's been all the top players in the world. The players run on the pitch to invade. Zlatan Ibrahimovic's long lost brother runs on the pitch. Look at this. That is actually, Zl that is actually Zlatan's brother. Wow! The same height, the same hair, the same moustache. 
If that is, that's more Zlatan Ibrahimovic than Zlatan himself. Absolutely mind blowing. And obviously Zlatan just, yeah, Zlatan being Zlatan just pushes him away. But look at this guy. It's the spitting image. But that is going to wrap up today's craziest, funniest pitch invasions I have ever seen. If there's any I missed out, make sure to let me know in the comments below. If you've ever witnessed a live pitch invasion, what do you think? Do they piss you off? Do you find them funny? Or have you ever actually done it yourself? If you have, I want to know in the comments right now. But as usual, lads, I really hope you've enjoyed today's video, and I will speak to you all next time. Peace.